Good everyone, and welcome to this video, and today it's a Talisman series flyout in the F3F2 biplane. Now obviously those of you that watched the M3A1 Stuart battle for the Talisman tank series, you'll know that I got this for free, so why not do it? I mean it's the F3F, I love the F3F as a whole, and well, we've done the Gala's F3F in the Talisman, or well, the premium series, so why not do the regular Gallop or the regular F3F just because guys in decided to be nice. So I've gone over the the brief history of the F3F and all that. It's a nice little biplane. I really wish the US would get some more biplanes and War Thunder. However, with the recent way War Thunder's been going, I doubt it. But you never know. So obviously we're on with one fifty caliber machine gun and one seven point six two moment machine gun, also known as a 30 cal. And we're also, also going to be bringing the 100 pound bombs because they really don't impact this plane's performance. So, obviously we've got a good climb rate, we've got a good turn rate, we've got decent durability unless it, you hit the tail because it's in hell of the fall off. Um, and with the decent engine that this thing has, it will climb really nicely. The armament is quite savage, especially with the, um, the belts that I use. I use universal in both guns, or if I'm feeling particularly tryhard, I use the 50 cal as universal and 30 cal as stealth. Maybe even both stealth if I feel like it. However, we're not going to be going full tryhard today. We're not going to be going too harsh, so universal grand targets. Reason for grand targets because I've heard a lot of people getting fires out of grand targets, so that'll be nice. And obviously the 100 pound bombs, they're just normal. Today's video was originally going to be the Panzer II C for the Talisman Tank series drives. Um, I'm having really bad luck with that thing. Um, so you'll get that at some point in the near future. It's just I am having a bad day at the office trying to record that thing. It's funny because... Um, both times I died in the battle that I respawned in, because I respawned twice, just because I was like, what the fuck, I've, I've got to at least try again. I got killed with a one-shot both times by level retards of, like, level 20. <sighs> but let's hope this goes a little better. Hmm? So, with the F3F at 1.3, we are still able to see the BF109E1, the infamous stat padding machine that I bloody despise. However, it's a lot worse now. There's not just the BF-109 E1. There's the MiG-3 that got its buff. There's the CW-21, which, well, I really want a thing to be N-word, is Hairy Feet doesn't like it when I say that word, so I won't say it. But um, let's just say I've got a baseball bat named after it. That's your hint. But I just think, with the amount of seal clubbing that's going on at the moment, we might struggle. But, hey, I'd rather fly than drive. Because at least I know how to counter some of the bullshit in a flying scenario. So, we'll just see. And, well, we actually won that battle to say I died in it. That's it right there. But, ugh. But anyway, I will see you all in the battle. Well, that was much quicker than the Panzer II wait. I was waiting 15 minutes for the Panzer II. With this, just four. So that's always nice. So minimum fuel, obviously gun conversion doesn't really matter, because obviously it's, a, it's nose mounted. And bomb fuse, always two seconds, because that gives the person ample time to say, oh shit. That, that's why I do two seconds. So now you know why I never change my bomb fuse from two seconds. So, wheels in, let's get moving. Let me tell you, that landing gear is a lot faster than the bloody Hawk 3's landing gear. Obviously, I've done a review on that, love that little thing. Perfect little plane. F3F's not as good as the Hawk 3 in a dogfight, I don't think, but. I do love the the F3F. That can be said. 
I mean, it sounds like a lawnmower in here. But... Even so. Let's just do a bit of aerobatics, like a little aileron roll. I still had to laugh when I first got, like, when I first got into gaming. And I saw Star Fox and they said, Do a barrel roll. And you just literally did an aileron roll. Everyone cringed. Like, seriously. Why would it be a barrel roll? If it was a barrel roll. Like, well, I mean, this thing is nicknamed a flying barrel, so that sort of makes sense, but. Even so, a barrel roll is entirely different from an aileron roll. Alright, so we've got a couple of Stukas. One of which looks like it's going to go fighter mode against our Sunderland, which. Personally, going fighter mode against a Sunderland in a Stuka is just asking for trouble. When it comes to Sunderlands in my Stukas. I tend to avoid them. The reason for it is just because they just terrify me. <laughs> uh, I'm not even joking, like, they really, really do terrify me. I mean, just as Dark Angel where we got attacked by a Sunderland. Ooh, that, that was PTSD material. Oh, hello. Of course, he's a Stuka, but he's got to come for an add on, hasn't he? So, I mean, you couldn't do that in a Panzer II. I don't get what he's trying to do because he's got a one ton bomb on it. That's some bad shooting on my part. Oh, that looks important. Alright, well, you're gone. That's the ticket. First kill. I've got another one up there, that's fine. Ah yes, the old eagle heads. I put that on this plane quite a while back when it was 1.7 and I had to fight like, oh, what did I have to fight? I think the worst one was an E3. Like, oh, 109 E3 in this thing. Whew, that was torture. Right, let's keep climbing so we can Oh, what the hell are you doing? Really? Oh my god. Let's have a look. Level 4. Why are you here? No, oh, he's a smurfer. Well, wannabe smurfer. He's not a very good one. <laughs> That's the ironic thing about most smurfers people. They're, they're, they're terrible half the time. They're terrible at their job. And even then, when I fight him, I kick their ass. Well, we'll just keep climbing. Obviously, this one and whatever it is. I think it's a B, judging by that climb rate. Yeah, yeah, Mark 5, I know he's there. I'm not blind. I know I have bad eyesight, but... And it is a A bottle. Oh, you poor sod. You poor sod. You poor sod. I feel really sorry for this guy. He actually has the 109A. Who wants to fly that pile of trash? I mean, it can work in skilled hands, but pulling vertical for an F3F, that's not smart. Hey, yeah, got one and nine over there. Got an Oscar as well. That poor sod. I, I felt sorry for... Like, I, I, do, I don't like doing that to newer players, but I'm sorry. He needs to learn. Right, priority target. Is the one on nine, and it looks like a. Is that? A, yeah, it's a B. Okay. Right, dodge out the way. Classic evasion tactics. And is he going to turn? No, he's not. He's actually thinking about it logically. Oh, you're coming in for a play now. Okay. This has just gone from a one on one to a two versus one. But the one on nine B's just decided, fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> I do love it when I see that sort of thing at low tier. Obviously they're going to be faster than me, that's just... That's just normal. And he's diving away, I don't bloody blame him. Right, so... What shall we do next? Because obviously the key 43 is going away, the 109B is a good target to go for. That 109 appears to be under control, so... Yeah, we'll 
We'll continue the pursuit for this 109. Where's he going? He's going back to his base. He's coming back for round two. Let's have a look at his level. 12, okay. That means he might make a mistake, which is what we're hoping for. Because if he keeps his speed up, he's basically untouchable to us. Oh, that was close. It's just a shame you cannot follow in FRF's maneuvers. That's the ticket. Right on his ass. Good hits, good hits. We're running low on 50 though. If he's smart, yeah, he's just diving away, don't blame him. I would normally split the guns on a plane like this, but... I think, yeah, he looks to be puffering a bit of black smoke, so we can keep up with him in a dive. Because his engine's out. Right, we've only got a 30 cal left, so we've got to make this count. Okay! <laughs> 30 kill hits like a 20 mil, apparently. Right, so. Right, there's a Stuka. So I think what we'll do is we'll quickly ditch our bombs on this armored car. I like to get in nice and close with my little bombs. There we go, that should be doing it. Boom. Gotcha. Oh god, is that is that is he coming for a play? Yes he is. Oh boy. Right, go on then. Customer number four, I think this is. Is he running no, I thought he was running stealth ammo. Alright, that was a bit of a mistake on my part, but whatever. Oh, he does know how to use his tail gun. Oh, well I know your dead zones, pal. I fly that thing as a fighter, I should know exactly where its dead zones are. You ain't fooling me, kid. We've only got a 30 cal, so we've got to take that into consideration. I think I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to bomb me or something. I don't see any bombs coming out of his plane, so... Yep, he was trying to bomb me. Is he going full retard in fighter mode, or...? Good hits across the wing. And the tail section. Yep, he's just dropped the big boy. I love how the game's telling me to pull the trigger. I'm taking my time, and he's just crit my engine. Right, we ain't got long. We've got his gunner, at least. Well, I don't think we're going to have the ammo for this, folks. We've got to press the attack. We ain't got long of this engine, so... Long burst. That, that did basically nothing. Right, let's go. There's not much we can do with a 30 cal against a Stuka. Stukas are quite tanky. Right, well, let's get out of here before our engine fails. How's it looking? Orange, that's not good. I guess you could say orange is the new black. Reference. <laughs> My mum actually watches that TV, well, that show. I think it's on um, Netflix, it's on. My mum loves watching that. Right, well, that P36 has just gone down. And I'm out of ammunition with a knackered engine. This Pez guy's unusually good. Ah. He's a smurfer. Right, well, I'll come back for you later. Well, he's buggering off. I can bugger off. I will see you all at the airfield. Well, we're back at the airfield. This guy's just been sat here the whole game. Chinese I-15 doing nothing. We managed to make it back. Our engine lasted us just long enough to get back and everything. So that's always nice. The Key 43 and the 19A that we saw earlier attempted to intercept this Sunderland, but other than that, nothing's really happened. PBY did do a bit of aerobatics, but 
that's really all that's happened. So the enemy are down to just four armoured cars worth of victory. Well, armoured cars worth of grand targets and obviously howitzer and everything. And then we win. I'm thinking of doing that. I can shake the key 43 and I can shake the 109A like they're nothing. So I'm thinking of grand panning for the win, but we'll, we will see. Obviously the Stuka got back to base. I had to look at his stats just because I was curious. Um, turns out he plays pretty much nothing a little bit low tier. Like he's he has barely gone past rank two in terms of playing. And looks like he's using my trusty Stuka as a fighter, so that's always nice. I like to see that. I mean, I don't play low tier often. I mean, last time I played low tier was to spade the Chinese stuff. That that's it. Otherwise, I don't play it. Just because most of the time I'm working on spades for higher tier vehicles. Like at the moment. Um, working on a Crusader AA, so, well, by the time this video comes out, I'd have had it done. So, well, the Pez guy, he is a stat putter, this guy is a stat putter, and this guy is just uh, level 23, I think he is. So nothing too special. He's just a average schmo, from what I've looked at. Seems like an alright player, I mean... No, that's that, that's what I like to see. I do like to see average schmoes. Right, so I'm gonna go for that Stuka. I want revenge. But the lag three looks like he's going for him as well. And he's not done a lot. He's got an assist, so I might let him have a crack at it. I mean, I'm gonna probably grand pad for the win anyway. So in fact, I can grand pad for the win right now. So if we go for the J87. Because let's be real, the lag 3 is probably not going to get him. Nope, that's not. Gone. Sword him in half. And because I'm lazy, I'm not actually going to use my guns. Although I think this lag 3 is eyeing up my target, so. Yes. Should we go for it? Yeah, guns, guns, guns. There we go. And a massive lag spike, but... Still, four kills, two grand targets, and a win. Always nice. Not like I'm researching anything important. Obviously, a jet fighter as well. I've gotten that far. But not a bad game, obviously. Four kills, two grand targets... And, well, that Smurfer didn't get a win for his stat card, so that's always nice. But, um, obviously, next flight in the Talisman series, I think, is the PE283, if I remember rightly, because obviously we've done the F3F now. Well, I'll take a quick look. Uh, where's the lineups that I had? Because I, I lose track of things, people, in case you haven't noticed. Um... Yeah, it's the 8-3, so I don't know why I have these two. I think it's because I'm trying to work on reviews for them, if I remember rightly. But um, obviously next is the P283. We'll be running the rockets as we did last time with the P231 as a fighter, which didn't go very well. I mean, we got a kill, but even so. And then obviously the last in the Talisman series for the Russian Air Force will be the LA-5F. Then we're on to Britain, which... Britain doesn't have a lot. In fact, I might as well show off what's going to be coming in Britain. Just because there's not a lot. In fact, I think there's only like two. There's the Typhoon. There's the Spitfire. Uh, don't think there's anything else. Yeah, so it's just three aircraft, it looks like, for the British, so... That, that's not too bad. I mean, we've got a swordfish, which um, someone actually requested a swordfish, so don't worry, it's coming. Then obviously we're on to Japan, China, because I've got one or two in China, Italy, France, and then obviously we'll be we'll be done with the thousand of series. We're almost, well, we're almost halfway there in terms of nations, so that's always nice. And to be honest, I'll be sad when the series dies, because, well, I've had a lot of fun playing the Talisman series. But anyway, less about my sob story. <laughs> um, I will see you all in the next one. Hope you enjoyed today's video.